Hey what's up guys it's Joe here and I'm back with my next part of my intro tutorial and uh, I've got to go through this pretty fast because there's quite a lot to do so this should be the final part um, if I make it quick so I'm just going to open up our Cinema 4D render wherever we saved it uh, there it is I'm just going to bring that into our composition just drag it in and you should have a render something like this and the first thing I always do is um, I use a plugin called Magic Bullet Looks. Now you don't actually need this plugin, but um, I think it makes your renders look a lot, lot, a lot nicer. Sorry. Um, so you can pick from all these different presets and uh, change all the colours and stuff. But I think uh, Punchy looks pretty good. It's also pretty good for montages and stuff like that, uh, for colour corrections. But um, yeah. So you don't actually need to do this step, but um, I think it makes your renders look uh, quite a lot nicer. So, um, okay, after we've done that, we're going to add in a texture. So this texture, there'll be a download link in the description. So I'm just going to go Photoshop Textures. This one. I'm going to add it above like that, and I'm going to set the blend mode to screen. And then put the opacity to about 25%. And that gives it kind of like a carbon effect on the front. If I just there you go, it's got like that stripey effect. It looks uh, pretty cool. And um, now we're going to add a flare at the top. So I'm going to be using optical flares, which is another plugin for After Effects. Uh, which, if you're an intro maker, you should probably have. Uh, so Video Copilot optical flares. I'm going to set the uh, blend mode to screen. Uh, place it about here. And go to options. Wait for it to load up. Okay, I'm gonna clear all. I'm gonna make my own flare. So I'm gonna bring in two glows and a streak. I'm gonna set the color to blue and come onto global parameters and uh, put a dodgy uh, lens texture and put the illumination radius to about 40. <coughs> and move it up a bit. So you can just see like a faint glow there, maybe a bit more. And then I'm going to go on to the uh, optical flare settings, go to flicker, put the speed to 15 and the amount to 35. And that will make it look a lot more realistic because the brightness will be changing at the top throughout the intro. Okay. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a uh, camera shake as the text hits the backing. So we're going to go to the point where it's about to hit, so about uh, two seconds, and we're going to go to we're going to click on the intro. We're going to go to Effect, Video Copilot, and Twitch. Um, you might have Twitch, you might not, but um, you can just download it on the Video Copilot website. It costs a bit of money, but um, yeah. So I'm just going to go on Twitch. I'm going to enable Blur and Slide. I'm going to set the speed to nine and uh, then go to blur and put the blur amount to 8 and then go to slide under operator controls and put the slide amount to 1 and then I'm going to keyframe this so we're going to put both of these values to 0 like that hit the stopwatch and go forward until the uh, text hits the back in so I'll say about here, put that to 8, put this to 1, just render this out. See that as the text hits the backing, it, there's like a camera shake. And uh, I think that looks pretty good. Okay, so for this next part, I'm going to be using. I'm just going to quickly jump on Cinema 4D. So I'm just going to minimize this. And um, I'll see you when Cinema 4D is loaded up. Okay, for this part, um, I'm going to be using Cinema 4D and I'm going to be using it to create this blueprint effect that I use in the Galaxy Sniping intro. And all you have to do to do this is you just go to Render Settings and go to Effect and Cell Renderer but uh, it's not there because I've already got it here and I'm just going to enable outline and edges and put the edge colour to blue and the background colour to black and then just uncheck ambient occlusion and global illumination 
and I'm going to be rendering from frame 50 to frame 75 and um, I've already rendered it so um, it only takes about five minutes it's, I don't think it's even that it's, it's really quick render but um, yeah once you've done that just uh, hop back into After Effects so I've got my uh, render somewhere here uh... basic intro... cell rendered here we go okay so this is my cell rendered intro like that and uh... so now we've got to match it up uh... to the so they like they're at the same time if you get what i mean so there we go that's at the same time now you just gotta keep this trial and error really but then we're gonna go to about here and we're gonna split our intro clip and then we're gonna go for uh, go back a few frames and split it again and then we're gonna go to here or some about here maybe and we're gonna split it again we're gonna delete this second split and uh, then we're gonna come onto our cell rendered I'm going to split that and then go to the part where you s split it on the uh, intro and just delete that but you can see we've got the cell rendered bit showing through and then on this uh, bit that we split we can go to effect and digi effects damage this is another plugin but if you don't have it uh, you can just skip this part you can go to artifact and set the operation type to shifter and if I render this see that uh, it's kind of a cool effect it just shows the blueprint and then the text lands onto the back and I'm just going to actually group these layers so layer precompose and I'm going to name this intro renders okay okay so after we've done that we're just going to make it fade out so I think for this I'm going to increase the composition duration to about five seconds. And I'm going to go into the intro renders composition, make it five seconds. Just check how long I've been recording for. Okay, seven minutes. That's not too bad. And I'm just going to go to the last bit of the uh, last intro frame. I'm going to split it and then right click on it and go to time and freeze frame and just drag it to the end of the composition and do the same here okay and then I'm just gonna hold down shift and select all of these I'm just gonna drag them to the end as well okay so this bit uh, we're gonna make the intro blur out as it um, as the as it hits the back it's gonna blur out like that so we're going to go on the intro renders, go to effect and blur and sharpen and fast blur. Hit the stopwatch on blurriness. Go forward to about about a second maybe, and put this to about forty. Okay. So just render it out from there. you see the intro blurs out like that but we're gonna combine that blur with a fade as well so we're gonna pre-compose these layers so layer pre-compose and we're gonna call that intro and then this one we're gonna call intro fade because this is the composition where the intro is gonna fade out so as it blurs from about here <coughs> Excuse me, we're going to hit stopwatch, go forward to about here, and put the opacity to zero. Like that. And um, finally, we're going to combine the blur and the fade with a with the uh, intro render moving backwards. And go to toggle switch to mode, uh, hit the uh, 3D button so it makes this layer 3D. And uh, as it blurs out, so starting from about uh, where does it start from? Actually, we're going to start it from when the text hits the back. So it's about here. We're going to go to position, hit the keyframe button, 
and we're going to go forward to about here and we're just going to move it back to about 450 now I'll render this see the intro just blurs out and moves backwards at the same time so I think uh, that's pretty much everything um, of course you can add sound effects uh, to your intro um, I recommend using video copilot sound effects uh, but a lot of people have used that so it's a bit unoriginal so you can use, um, I'll just show you all website that's pretty good it's called soundsnap.com and um, yeah you can just go on that website um, it costs I think for five dollars you can get about ten downloads of lots of different sounds so it's pretty cheap but um, if you're if you don't want to use unoriginal sound effects like video copilot just go to that website and there's millions of sound effects on there but this is our final render so um, yeah that's the basic intro tutorial and if you like this uh, please leave a like because uh, I put a lot of time into this tutorial series and um, leave in the comments what tutorials you want to see next but um, other than that thanks for watching guys and I'll see you later